the necessities of life, the objectives, explain why organisms need food, water, air, and living space, describe the chemical building blocks of cells, vocab, producer, consumer, decomposer, protein, carbohydrate, lipid, phospholipid, ATP, nucleic acid. Would it surprise you to learn that you have the same basic needs as a tree, a frog, and a fly? In fact, almost every organism has the same basic needs, water, air, a place to live, and food. Water. You may know that your body is made mostly of water. In fact, your cells and, of, uh, and the cells of almost all living organisms are approximately 70% water. Most of the chemical reactions involved in metabolism require water. Organisms differ greatly in terms of how much water they need and how they get it. You could survive for only about three days without water. You get water from the fluid you drink and the food you eat. The desert-dwelling kangaroo rat never drinks. It's, it gets its food, water from its food. Air. Air is a mixture of several different gases, including oxygen and carbon dioxide. Most living things use oxygen in the chemical process that releases energy from food. Organisms living on land get oxygen from the air. Organisms living in water either take in dissolved oxygen from the water or come to the water's surface to get oxygen from the air. The European diving spider in figure one explain, goes to great lengths to get oxygen. Great plant, uh, green plants, algae, and some bacteria need carbon dioxide gas in addition to oxygen. These organisms produce food and oxygen, and oxygen by using photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, green organisms convert the energy of, in sunlight to energy stored in food. A place to live. All organisms need a place to live that contains all of the things they need to survive. Some organisms, such as elephants, require a large amount of space. Other organisms may live their entire life in one place. Space on Earth is limited, so organisms often compete with each other for food, water, and other necessities. Many animals, including the wobbler in Figure 2, will claim a particular space after claiming the space, they try to keep other animals away. All living things need food. Food gives organisms energy and the raw materials needed to carry on life processes. Organisms use nutrients from food to replace cells and body, uh, build body parts. But not all organisms get food in the same way. In fact, organisms can be grouped into three different group based, groups based on how they get their food. Some, or, some organisms, such as plants, are called producers. Producers can make their own food. Like most producers, plants use energy from sunlight to make food in the form of sugars from water and carbon dioxide. Some producers get energy and food from the chemicals in their environment. Other organisms are called consumers because they must eat or consume other organisms to get food. The frog in figure three is an example of a consumer. It gets the energy it needs by eating insects and other organisms. Some consumers are decomposers. Decomposers are organisms that get their food by breaking down the nutrients in dead organisms or animal waste. The mushroom in figure three is a decomposer. Some organisms make their own food. Some organisms get food from eating other organisms, but all organisms need to break down food in order to use the nutrients in it. Nutrients are made up of molecules. A molecule is a substance made when two or more atoms combine. Molecules made of different kinds of atoms are compounds. Molecules found in living things are usually made of different combinations of six elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These elements combine to form proteins.
carbohydrates, lipids, ATP, and nucleic acids. Almost all of the life processes of a cell involve proteins. Proteins are large molecules that are made up of small molecules called amino acids. The nutrients in food can be used to build materials. For example, organisms break down the protein in food to supply their cells with amino acids. These amino acids are then linked together to form new proteins. Some proteins are made up of only a few amino acids, but others contain more than 10,000 amino acids. Proteins have many different functions. Some proteins form structures that are easy to see, such as those in figure 4. Other proteins are very small and help cells do their jobs. Inside red blood cells, the protein hemoglobin binds to oxygen to deliver the, and release oxygen throughout the body. Other proteins, called enzymes, start and speed up chemical reactions in cells. Carbohydrates. Molecules made of sugars are called carbohydrates. Cells use carbohydrates as a source of energy and for energy storage. An organism's cells break down carbohydrates to release the energy stored in them. There are two kinds of carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are made up of one sugar molecule or a few sugar molecules linked together. Table sugar and the sugar in fruits are example of simple carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates. When an orga organism has more sugar than it needs, its extra sugar can be stored as complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates are made of hundreds of sugar molecules linked together. Plants, such as a potato plant in figure 5, store extra sugar in starch. When you eat mashed potatoes, you are eating a potato's plant-stored starch. The body, your body then breaks down that, this co complex carbohydrate to release the energy stored in the p potato. Lipids. Lipids are compounds that cannot mix with water. Lipids have, very, uh, or lipids have many important jobs in the cell. Like carbohydrates, some lipids store energy. Other lipids form the membranes of cells. Phospholipids. All cells are surrounded by a cell membrane. The cell membrane helps protect the cell and keeps the internal conditions of the cell stable. Phospholipids are the molecules that form much of the cell membrane. The heads of the phospholipids, uh, phospholipid molecule is attracted to water. The tail is not. Cells are mostly water. When phospholipids are in water, the tails come together and the heads face out into the water. Figure 6 shows how phospholipid molecules form two layers in water. Fats and oils are lipids that store energy. When an organism has made up most of its carbohydrates, it can get energy from these lipids. These structures are of fats and oils are almost the same, but at room temperature most fats are solids and most oils are liquids. Most of the lipids stored in plants are oils. Most of the lipids stored in animals are fats. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, also called ATP, is another important molecule. ATP is the major energy carrying molecule in a cell. The energy in carbohydrates and lipids must be transferred to ATP, which then provides fuel for cellular activities. Nucleic acids are sometimes called the blueprints of life because they have all the information needed for a cell to make proteins. Nucleic acids are large molecules made up of molecules called nucleotides. A nucleic acid may have thousands of nucleotides. The order of those nucleotides store, stores information. DNA is a nucleic acid. A DNA molecule is like a recipe book entitled How to Make Proteins. When a cell needs to make a certain protein, the cell gets information from the order of the nucleotides in DNA. This order of nucleotides tells the cell 
the order of the amino acids that are linked together to make the protein.